Oh, hey there, how are you? So another busy day for me, running errands, taking care of stuff. That's just a busy world. You ever stop to notice how many people there are? How many cars there are? And I think in our day-to-day -day life, we don't really pay attention to just how crowded it can be. But today I'm kind of taking notice, which brings me to a bigger conversation. Have you heard of the world population clock? There's a website you can go to, and it's in the description below, that actually shows in real time population growth on planet Earth. I spent some time recently looking at this, and to be honest, it's a bit mesmerizing, and it got me thinking of some broader issues about humanity and the way we all live together in this world. In very short order, population of human beings on planet Earth will reach 8 billion people. The number just moves forward. You find yourself in rush hour traffic, see yourself in a busy mall at holiday time. If you live in a busy population center, you go about your day-to-day -day life, there are just people everywhere. Put it in the context of this world population clock and the number becomes kind of staggering. I ran a little bit of a thought experiment on this. I set up a stopwatch with a 30 second timer and I watched more than just the estimated real-time population growth, but looking at the real-time numbers for births and deaths, I found an interesting piece of data. Roughly every 30 seconds, 50 people die throughout the world. By comparison, in that same 30 seconds, 100 people are born. So you can see that on average, twice as many people are born every 30 seconds as people that are lost to the world. Human beings are family-driven creatures. Like any other species on the planet, we procreate, we form families, we form communities. And over the last hundred or maybe several hundred years, we've advanced our understanding of science, our understanding of medicine. We live longer. You could argue that we're healthier than we were a couple of hundred years ago. And the population growth starts to feel almost exponential. The world is filling up. Huge population centers that span hundreds of miles. People packed and crammed into affordable housing. Sprawling tracks of suburban homes. Rows upon rows of skyscrapers stretching endlessly in all directions. People wait in line, clamor for resources. Densely populated urban areas where the basic necessities of life require constant tripping over one another and competing with thousands of other people for the same jobs, the same homes. Wall-to-wall -wall humanity that just seems like it's absolutely filling up this planet. How then does any of that make sense at all when you consider this? At times, the world may feel very full. As we've discussed, the population growth over the last 100, 500, 1,000 or more years has been exponential. And yet, somehow, completely opposite of that, the world is practically empty. There are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of empty miles, just like this, everywhere undeveloped. There are huge portions of the globe that are untouched by human hands. It's an incredible juxtaposition to say that 8 billion people will soon be crowding this planet. And within the next 100 years, that number will double. We say it's unsustainable. We say that overcrowding will literally kill us, that we will devour every natural resource. The question is, can we find a way to bring balance and harmony to the concept of human expansion and a beautiful planet that may well suffer under our thumb? It's a big question. It's a lot to chew on, but it's more than we could ever cover in one single video. So, have you ever stopped and thought about this? Do you yourself come from a big family? How many people do the people around you add to the total number of people? What do you think is the eventual outcome of this staggering population growth? 
It's an interesting thought experiment, and I invite you to share your thoughts with me. Of course, if you think I did a good job on the video, I would love it if you would give it a like, maybe share this on your social media. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. Come along for more of these conversations and more of the fun stuff I do here. Wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Remember, always try to be nice, but never fail to be kind. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the road. Thank you.